Ibo mwene genti ayeke nuno zona ubo sinketana Ibo media Bo eba isi wene otelo ni yabu ntu sozi Ande mba sozi di nukumba Basta makiyene mena obodaye Ana basta makiyene mene ibo community E di kwa sidi Obo ni yabu mkisi zigi Ina eso ila ina Ibo media Kabalu ka imetuaka na da subscription button and subscribe also the key be able metuaka na share ki share kumu na indozo we inu makari befa if you name no badaye buwa nibo and entire nigeria adi kwa sidi awo ni ya wetelunu basta maka mwa lowe if abo onyo zinke chuku awo ni fo kuru ni wakuko basta maka biafra and my sin and can no studies. I have to come get a beef. When you get here, when you drop or I comment, you know, need to go. Basta makijendo kugase. All right, what you say? Just like going through hell, there will be no going back. You see the trajectory that they are taking Nigeria. The criminals in charge of Nigeria. The trajectory is it is that of a trajectory of a destruction, ruin, and they seems to be so convinced. It is actually the best way out. So follow them. That Nigeria will break or scatter. It's not because you want it or because you don't want it. It is solely going to be based on the actions and inactions of these rogues who have all of the leverages. They have the power. Nigeria is going through what many countries, if, if any country kind of pass through what Nigeria or Nigerians are going through right now. Eh? When I go down the year, pray for, pray for Nigeria is a place where the criminals in charge and their collaborators, their enablers, they have managed to keep the Nigerians more or less like uh, conquered people or captured people. However, these captured people most of them seem like helpless. They cannot help themselves. And that gives some level of uh, power to those who seem to have captured them. And therefore, eh, they can do whatever they like. And because they can do whatever they like, in fact, they are doing whatever they like, is why Nigeria is going to break up. Okay, it is not because of your prayer for or against. These rogues are unrepentant, unpatriotic criminals ever. In the history of mankind, you can never hate your own country this much like these rogues you have in Nigeria. They are so insensitive. Eh? They are so distant. So the same people they are supposed to be making laws for or leading. That's how much the reality of Nigeria today is. And to manage your heartbreak is why you have to watch Mayegu diary political. So that you can understand what you are up against. And at the same time, you can understand where you belong. Also, you can even understand far much better Eh? how to tackle what is coming. But if you choose to be among those who continue to live in denial, oh, Benny, you are just making noise. Every day, talk, 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 talk. You are living in denial. It is not just talk, talk, talk. This platform is to remind you of your hypocrisy, of your... Uh, you know, of uh, compatibility, including your involvement in, in what is still to become the broken Nigeria. That's what this platform is meant for. A platform that will help you to stop lying to yourself about Nigeria. You can hate me, you can say all manner of things, but when you are by yourself, majority of what you are going to hear on Maya Boon's diary, political, will continue to echo under your head, which is the truth. The rogues in charge of uh, Nigeria, they are far, far off from uh, the 
hardship they are, their, their actions, policies have unleashed on Nigerians. And it has gotten to a stage whereby the Nigeria criminal politicians from the local government level to state governors, as well as to your national assembly and your president, the executive, they seem to feel like they're actually doing you a favor at this point. Because every now and then they will tell you, whatever you are going through in Nigeria, the rest of the world is going through it too. It is not peculiar to Nigeria. Don't let anybody make you dislike your leaders. Inflation is affecting the world. Joblessness is affecting the world. Terrorism all over the world. Because the criminals in charge of Nigeria are so confident that they are talking to idiots, people living under the rock. They will lie to you. Then they will come back, okay, deny the lie, and then rely again. Because they feel like there will be no consequences. But that doesn't mean that they are not scared of what you are going to do with the information you are going to know about them. All of these things you have, you know about them. What are you going to do about it? What are you? They are worried. And that is why when, uh, you know, people are dying of hunger, people are losing their jobs, falling into poverty every now and then, people are falling into the hands of, uh, you know, hardened state-sponsored terrorists. In Nigeria, Nigerians are being mortgaged like commodity. Eh? Terrorists are negotiating if you want your people alive or not. This is the state of Nigerians. All of these are not concerning to these rogues. Okay? But they are always majoring in minors and minoring in majors. They always say, uh, you know, I pick on uh, the low priorities and they make them so serious. Why the country born? Then they will then turn around and start praising themselves for doing a great job. Oh, Mr. President is doing a very wonderful job. We have done a kineko kineko job. This is like mockery. And you see that all the time. If I want to start a business or I mean, a business of um, a grocery business, I have two places to go. I mean, three places I will go to for funding, personal savings, maybe family and friends support raising the fund for me. Or I just go to the bank. It's, and it is the same for every business, I think, except for cow business. And mind you, cow business exists before the advent of uh, APC. They have always been bringing and transporting Nama all over Nigeria. And there's never been any problem until APC, Egbek Egbek came in and they started arming the Fulani terrorists. Not just, you know, according to them from the onset, onset to, they said the terrorists, the Fulani terrorists that are destroying farms in Ekiti, the terrorists that are killing farmers in Oyo, all the terrorists uh, that, are, that are killing farmers in uh, Ogun State, they were not Nigerians. They were from Chad, Ninja. They even said they were from Libya. How they managed to enter Nigeria and deep into the southern part of Nigeria were the reasons why we suspected that this is a state-sponsored terrorism. And we were right. We were right. For any act of terrorism, of uh, raising up uh, harms, according to them, picking up harm against the state is an act of terrorism, right? But the Fulani terrorists were killing our people, and they said they were not Nigerians. And because of that, we should stop calling them Fulani terrorists, because there are Fulanis in Nigeria, and they feel offended. They felt offended. 
that we're calling them terrorists. We shouldn't call those, those people are not Nigerians. Oh, really? Okay. Then let us face uh, the Nigerian air defense. Hello? How did these guys got in? Get rid of them. Treat them as terrorists as they are. Then we can know that it is not the full army from Shokoto, not the full army from Kirby, not the full army from uh, maybe Kano or full army from Borono that are killing our people in southern Nigeria. This was way back in uh, 2016, oh, the genesis. But some of us suspected this was a state sponsored terrorism and it's, it's, it was going to get bigger. We were right. The next thing, this terrorist government of APC, then they started asking us to choose between our lives or our land. They started making laws on how to cede lands to Fulani terrorists in southern part of Nigeria by design. Northern part of Nigeria actually controls, if you had the Middle Belt and so, the northern part that way, right? They control over 70% of uh, the land mass in Nigeria. Southern part of Nigeria. We barely control, or we barely have 29% of the land mass. But surprisingly, now people will get small land mass were supposed to sacrifice. You see, the Fulani governors from Northern Nigeria, the Fulani senators, lawmakers in Abuja, was the Fulani as old rock at the time. They started blackmailing the rest of Nigeria. Now, how can you be blackmailing Nigerians for Stadians? They are terrorists. You said they are not Nigerians. How could you be now? No, 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 they are Nigerians. Listen, listen, listen. The problem is not that they are Chadians. The problem is that uh, 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 climate change, climate change is making it difficult for them to feed their cows. And that's why they need land. You've been serious. If they need, if climate change is not bringing rain, eh, then use your money and build uh, your own a small, what do you call it, irrigation system. We shouldn't die or lose their livelihood because you want to placate this armed terrorist. I'm giving you this background, though. this was the genesis so, of what has now become national conversation in Nigeria. It, is, it has now become the Fulani terrorist versus Nigerians. This is why I told you there is no real Nigerian. Telling you, I mean, telling people that you are a proud Nigerian, you are just a deceiver, deceiving yourself. In reality, there is no real, there is nobody that is really Nigerian. In Nigeria, the supposed Terrorists, right? They have rights more than uh, the supposed their citizens. That is the state of Nigeria. It got so bad that even when they were ransacking the middle belt part of Nigeria, killing and leaving bodies on their, in their trail, we were not supposed to talk about them. Calling them Fulani terrorists makes uh, the Fulanis, who are not terrorists, upset. And for us to resolve the whole thing, the best is to give them our land. Or else, we should create a cattle colony for them. Or we should bring back grazing roots in 2024. But all of this, they even went as far as trying to make law. They called it waterway bill which would give the control not just the control of all the waters in nigeria to the federal government of nigeria eh? it will also give the land from the bank of the water 10 miles that's about a 15 kilometers land from the bank of every water in any part of nigeria will now be owned by the government of nigeria which was planning to actually allocate land for Fulani adsmen. And the Fulani terrorists were sent to kill all of us for disagreeing with them. 
I did not see the ego spear part dealer pulling together his fellow egos, arm them with AK 47, RPG, and begin to kill the people of Shokoto Kano, Kelby, Jigawa, Adamawa, and start killing people there and say they want because they want their own uh, mechanic village or they want their own spear part village. I have not seen the Yorubas put together their fellow Yorubas, arm them with guns, ammunition, and the rest of that, eh? And begin to kidnap the people of uh, northern Nigeria simply because we need land. Eh? We need land to build for our own, uh, you know, call it, uh, what, do, what can we say we want to build, though? That we need land, though. Amala Joint, yeah, the business. A franchise of Amala Joint in northern Nigeria, or we want to start a pig farm in northern Nigeria. We need to have uh, plenty uh, proteinous food. So pig, we need pig. We want to rear pigs in northern Nigeria. And we know that uh, majority of them will never give us land to rear pig. So we started kidnapping and started killing people from different communities. And, and they said, why are you killing people here, Yorubas? Because they won't let us have land for pigs. But Igbos, why are you killing people here now? Eh? Because they won't let us have our own mechanic village. We need mechanic village. Nigeria must give us mechanic village in northern Nigeria. It was nothing like that, except the Fulanis who need ranch. They need grazing roots. They need water for their cows. And suddenly, this became a national problem where people have died. Fulani terrorists alone have killed over 68,000 Nigerians in the last eight years alone. That's a fact. 68,000 Nigerians. They will come on their bikes. They no longer come on the car, I mean, with cows. But the Nigerian politicians, who knows that these armed Fulani terrorists, they are not. They call it farmers, others clashes. But now only the farmers and the villages, they die. We know they see the others. Their newspaper in Nigeria will tell you. 78 people killed, 190 injured in uh, the farmers and others clashes in Jos. So when you go there, you don't go see any other that die. Oh. Now only the farmers and his family with the dial because there was no farmers others. The organized terrorists, eh, their plan is no longer to, they can't wage war to use their sword to touch the water or use their Quran to touch the water in the southern part of Nigeria, the ocean in Yoruba land. They no longer have to use that anymore. They have weak men and women whose uh, political affiliation is more important to them to look away and decide, instead of actually calling on uh, their own security agents and all of that, to route down these criminals and treat them as terrorists as they are, they were making laws in Nigeria to placate them. They said we should learn how to live with our neighbors. So the National Assembly now are discussing a bill that they called ban on open grazing. But they don't like that. They have pulled any lawmakers because the cows also have rights. Let us, that's what they are saying in the National Assembly. Cows have rights. In Nigeria, Nigerians cannot survive without eating cows. Cows must have rights. And that is why we must create the ranching for the Fulanese in order to have peace in Nigeria. Baba, we must use the taxpayers' money, okay? And take people's land and build ranches, build school, build hospitals in order to placate our murderers at the National Assembly. That is that Nigeria, ladies and gentlemen. So I will take you down there. It's, it's, you know, it's mental. I just want you to listen and hear what and who is saying what. Okay, so yeah, at the end of the day, the problems still come back to how are they going to take the land? 
because even the land use acts that fraudulent act that oba sonjo enacted in 1977-78, land use act has been used by the Fulani power mongers, jihadists, and their collaborators to think that they actually, Nigerian government actually have control over people's lands in Nigeria. Up to this moment, there is no single northern state, not a single Fulani governor or associate anywhere in northern Nigeria has successfully eh, built a Ruga to show to us. I keep saying this. I've been saying it for years. They want the southern Nigeria, the Yorubas, the Igbos, to see their land for Ruga. They brought in terrorism to eastern part of Nigeria. And today, I saw some of them arguing between themselves. Uh, on Twitter yesterday, uh, on uh, you know, a Dalo Nina no me for Kunis Vede Suela in the I name, Nirapuko, na Ibo me dear, Obone Maho, Ibo me dear, but by see when they were telling the Yabuzi, Nukuzi, Joe Kim Papa Stamaka, Obodaibo, and Nibo, and the man's in the car, the car, you beat me a saga, no, no, call or keep me. Uh, Unafuka, Unafuko, the the Afghan Prime Minister Kuru also after meeting with Nazim Nalikano, they go into the we deserve that the Biafran Republic government in exile will now take full responsibility of the legal team to effect from today, uh, 20 today, 8 February 2024. All right, um, when I look on here, so I I go school in 2000, I I'm going to give money to the media because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you.